Miami Open a 10-point fave on the look ahead. No surprise there. Um, and it's been bet up. Look at that. All the way up to 13 now. Um, despite the fact that the Raiders beat my Jets on Sunday Night Football. I guess maybe they were a slight underdog. It closed right around one or pick them. Um, but Antonio Pierce 2-0 and is an interim head coach. That's fun. Um, Dolphins off the bye. They lost to the Chiefs in Germany two weeks ago. My guess is the offense that the Raiders faced on Sunday against the Jets is going to look a little, little bit different this Sunday against the Dolphins, guys. Um, Mike McDaniel loves being the bully, and I think the Vegas Raiders might be in for a little bit of a comeback down to earth, Bez, as I see you punching something in the live chart here. Yeah, I'm going live here. I'm going to take the Dolphins. It's up to minus 13, 13 and a half, as long as it's below 14. I got to tell you, this is a disappointment. Okay, so I tell Jared all the time, and he agrees, that like Jared's providing tremendous content and insight, and he's having the best year of all three of us. But I'm like the guy, I'm the math geek that's watching the screen 24-7. And I, I like the Lions. I like the Dolphins all week. I've seen the movie before. Raiders, new coach, smoke cigars, celebratory, <laughs> win against the horrible Giants. Then the Jets come in, the Jets shoot themselves in the foot, pee down their leg, give away the game. More cigars in the locker room. Grand Prix in town. Go to some VIP parties. Go over to the win. Go to Dre's. Celebrate. Beat somebody up in the nightclub. Get away with it. And then fly to South Beach and get the living crap kicked out of you. <laughs> in the, I mean, we've all seen this before. So that's what's going to happen. How I did not give out to my clients Dolphins first half minus seven is yeah. just beyond me, and now it's steamed to seven and a half. So the key number just got taken out, and I was looking at that, and I was and and I, and I was like fat, drunk, and 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 stupid. There's no way to bet the NFL. I should have had Dolphins minus seven, and like I'm pulling back the curtain. Whenever you have like a 12, 12 and a half point favorite, thirteen point favorite that you like, minus seven first half is an outstanding wager to make. Huh. So I'll go Dolphins. I join Jared on Dolphins for the game while it's still below minus fourteen. Come on, Chris. The Dolphin bandwagon is plenty of room for you, bud. Come oh, on. okay. I'll, I'll pop aboard then. <laughs> I did get my clients minus seven first half, and I nice. pounded the hell out of this on money line parlays when the price was uh, reasonable and uh, nice. uh, 10 point teasers. And uh, I just need them to win the game. I feel like I'm in a darn good position, and uh, I think that they will. Run, 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 and tire this Raider team out. And uh, by the end of the game, they'll be huffing and puffing. And the only thing I care about is that Miami wins the game. I hope they win the first half by more than seven. There's nothing I can recommend at this point uh, on yeah. the game. I just think that uh, th they can just do whatever they want in this situation, quite frankly. Fez, would you, I mean, considering 13 – is probably gone 13 and a half, you know, at what point are the alternate bets? Because the dolphins love to be the bully. They could care less about an efficient market. I think the dolphins by 20 plus is very possible here. Um, is there a threshold for you with the alt lines that you would be interested with Miami? It's not something I really focus on. And here's why, because like, if you look in like different books and like, if this is going to close 14 and you're laying 13 and a half, you're Definitely basically going to close 14. No you're betting it big free. You're not paying any vig, but as soon as you go to an alt line, like minus 20 and a half, like you're only getting paid, you know, plus 220, And then the other side is like minus 280. So there's like a 60 yeah. cent bid at bid ask differential. And, the, and, and people are like, there has to be value. Now people, there are experts out there that vehemently disagree with me. All right. And like talk about the, the and it makes sense. If there's high variance on a game, you should take advantage of it. Well, I agree with them if, if they dealt, you know, a more reasonable straddle. But, yeah. you know, all I can say is that lots of content providers that like live in their like live in their apartments strongly disagree with lots of pro betters that live on golf courses. So I'll take the <laughs> golf course guys on this. Just lay the 13 and a half. I, I, I think I think they like the plus sign next to the bet. And they were brought up in my generation of cheap frugal and they see a minus sign and they just don't like it it's like they're vegetables they don't want to eat them they would prefer to eat donuts and cookies and ice cream and that tastes better and the plus sign bets taste better so um yeah i i think dolphins minus seven first half might end up being one of the better bets i've made all year once it's all said and done as long as it wins but i'm assuming that closes eight and dolphins 14 
I wouldn't be shocked if this closed 14 and a half, honestly. I, I don't see much Raiders love, right? Maybe I mean, 14 and a half where maybe it steps in. That's the, the peak. The, the power rating says Raiders, but the spot is is so atrocious for them. You yeah. know, while you're talking about donuts and pink box, why is the cronut not, not like taking oh. over the world? It is Cronut's like the fantastic. I mean, it's already bad for you to have a donut. You may as well go all the way totally. and go cronut. They had a now shop in New York. Back up to two ten. So good. But uh, Jared, the the alternate line market is I live on the alternate line markets from yeah. shop to shop to shop, but they they're tough. It's hard to find value. And as Steve said, it, it there's such a spread and there's such a void of value. You're you're you if if you're not doing it regularly, 99% chance you can't find any value at all. In fact, you're ripping yourself off. You just have to be really careful. But there are diamonds in the rough that you will run across if you're uh, diligent. I, I think it's more depth, right? If you bet on the three biggest big box sports books in America, you're not finding any value with alt line. If you have 15 different shops and you're dealing on all of them, you might be able to find one and you're willing to actually comb the desert, like the scene in Spaceballs, which is one of my favorite scenes in any movie ever, the scene where they're combing the desert. Um, yeah, it's tough, though. you got to be really dedicated. I, I think just, just guys, just lay it with the Dolphins this week. They're going to win this game by 40. Lay 13, 14, just, just maybe Well, you know, as Steve stop, said, but... the, the, the numbers don't support Miami. I mean, both of them, I no. guarantee you, it, the numbers are closer to 10, 10 or 11. The situation I think the numbers aren't so fully old. baking in Jalen Ramsey, though, guys. I think Jalen Ramsey, you look at the Dolphins' defense the last two weeks with Ramsey back, they are starting to improve. So your, your full season numbers don't take Ramsey now off the bye getting healthier. Whatever defense or whatever offense the Raiders thought that they were going to have, I think even becomes less because of Ramsey back. And then obviously the main part of this handicap is the Dolphins offense against the Raiders defense. But I, I think that Dolphins defense is trending up. And I, I think that's going to be a big reason why, why they cover this You know, game. but so but, is the so is the Raiders defense. You know, the Raiders quietly. It's fantastic. Have done okay. I mean, it's their defense that have done some yeah. things that are unexpected, and it's you scary. hate to admit it. But yeah, you the play the Giants. You play the Giants and the Jets. Your defense is going to look good. The Raiders True. played Detroit too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it didn't look great in Chicago. You had Bajent move it up and down the field on them. I think McDaniel with two weeks to prepare for this defense. I think it's it, it's just situationally it is an atrocious spot for Vegas, like arguably one of the worst spots of the year. So I, I think the Dolphins all the ways this week, baby. I got him first half full game, um, and Fez jumping on board the live train too here with Miami. <laughs>